If you'd like to download more than one flight, you're going to need to create a report. You can do that by clicking on reports over here. That's going to take us to this page. I want to direct your attention to the left. Right now we're under my reports. I haven't created any yet. They will populate right here once I do. We have templates and schedules, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But first, let's look over here. We have a standard flight report. We have a FAA COA report, which is great for compliance purposes, and a maintenance report, which is awesome for keeping uh, maintenance records for all of your equipment. We're going to go ahead and click on standard flight report for this example. You can go through here and let's name this example. Select the flights that you would like to include within this report. You can add any notes. Flights to include, you can filter by participants, by drones, and by tags. You can choose to exclude flights if you'd like. Under fields to display is where you can really go through and customize this report for your operational needs. As you can see, we have a whole lot of options that you can enable. Under units, you can choose what type of units you'd like for this report and then sort by. Once you've gone through and customized it, we're going to click on continue. This is going to take us to the snapshot of the flights that will be included in this particular report. If everything looks good on this page, we can go ahead and finalize and save this. That's going to take us to this page where it's going to process this report. As you see here, we can view or open this report. We can download it in a CSV format or a PDF format. And we can also view it in HTML format. I'm going to go ahead and download a PDF version so you can see what it looks like once it's been generated. As you can see, we have all of the information that I chose to include within this particular report. And now we're back here to the report that we generated. Now say that you've gone through and you've customized this particular report and you don't want to have to go through it and perform those steps each time. You can simply save this report as a template. So up here in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on save as template. We'll leave it as template number one. You can name it as you'd like. Now under these, under this section here, this is what we just set up. Remember, we're creating a template from that report. So we're going to click on save template. Now, if you notice here on the left hand side, we were under my reports. We're now under templates and here's the template that we created. It's right here. It's going to show you an overview of our preset parameters. You can scroll down here to the bottom. I can either create a new report from this template or I can schedule this report, which is nice so you can have it automatically be sent to your email on a frequency of your choosing. We'll go ahead and do that. We're going to schedule a report. So from that template, we are scheduling it and you can once again name it as you'd like. We're choosing the template that we'd like to schedule. And under here, repeats, we can choose to repeat it weekly, bi-monthly, or monthly. And then you can choose the day of the week that you would like this report to be ran. You can choose between PDF, CSV, and HTML. And then lastly, you're going to choose where you would like this report to be sent when it's automatically run. So you can add recipients if you'd like to add additional emails to this. Once you've gone through and customized it, you can hit save. And there you go. There's a little snapshot of this particular schedule that we set up under history. Nothing is set yet, but once that report is ran and it's been sent, you can see the history of each time that report was ran and sent to those preset emails. And there you have it. That's how you download multiple flights by creating a report.